Just listen, thanks for coming. I know it's short notice, and I know obviously um, with England being out in Australia, there's, there's probably uh, an awful lot of work for everybody to do. Um, it's pretty obvious what we're here to talk about. Um, I think it's pretty obvious now who the next um, St. Helens Rugby League head coach is. Um, this man needs no introduction. Um, I'm sure you can get, if you want, all the facts and figures from Mike at the end, but Kieran's a legend of the club, um, has a statue outside the club, was a club captain and worked under some of our most ses successful coaches in probably our golden era here at the club. Um, personally, and, and I speak on behalf of oh, myself, the club and Eamon, um, we're absolutely delighted to appoint Kieran. Um, it's, it's, he's a local boy who, who, like I said, has captained the club understands the culture of the club and understands the recent success having been part of it. Um, Eamon has prepared a statement which Mike will give to you um, once we've done this before you start your one-on-ones but uh, needless to say it's a, a massive honour for us to have Kieran Cunningham as the next head coach of St Helens Rugby League Club. Thank you very much. Sorry? Having a good month? Yeah, very good. Very good. It's uh, oh, This is just the pinnacle of of a fantastic year for me. You know, it's, I've been a kid, stood on the terraces and, and watched this great team and I was fortunate enough to, to be good enough to play for the team. And and then once my career was over, you know, I was pretty much undecided what I wanted to do, which path I wanted to go down and fortunate, you know, rushing and aiming and on the board let me find that out for myself. and. And one thing I was always aware of as as a good player, you know, I'm trying to blow smoke up my own so far, but is that good players that do go into coaching sort of fall on the on, on the knees a little bit quite quite quickly and you know, I'm I'm quite a humble person and I was always willing to learn and I didn't think I knew everything and I've been under some great coaches and Nathan Brown's a fantastic guy and I've learned a lot from Nathan and I'm not saying I'm the finished product but you know, I've all the noise rugby league and that's all I've known since I was seven years old, so I'm, I'm pretty happy to give it a shot. Gives the club continuity as well because you've been learning off uh, Nathan as well, haven't you? Yeah, it's, I mean, definitely. I know what this club's about. I know the heartbeats of the club and I know what it means to be a local boy and play and, and win trophies for this club. And, you know, we've, we've got a lot of them in our team who really care about this town and care about this team. Bit of a golden inheritance, really, because the, the club and the team's in a very good place at the minute. But you've helped create some of that as well, haven't you, with what you've done last three, four years? I mean, I'd, I'd like to think I've contributed towards where we are as a team and you know Nathan's come in and he's he took advice from himself and, and, and his other assistant Jamal and we've we've moved the team forward. We've been through a lot of pain last year to get to where we are now and you know to do what we've done as, as this team has been fantastic. Kieran, was it an easy decision to take the job? No, it's not tough is it? You know it's I think there's a thousand people out there who wanted to, to take the reins at this great club and Irregardless with, with the squad, just the heritage and the culture of, of the place. You know, if we hadn't have won anything and we didn't have all these great players, you you want the challenge of, of coaching this team and I think I'm in a very privileged position, you know, I've I've contributed to helping some of these kids come through and you know the, the future of the club is, is very bright and you know, I think I'd be a fool to sit back and let someone else come in and, and, and try and change it. How would you say your coaching philosophy compares to that of Nathan's, for example? Um, probably very similar. Very similar. I mean, I've I've been in charge of the attack for the last two years, so the way we the where we attack won't change greatly. And you know, I'm 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 a big big believer in in, in playing your kids if they're good enough, and uh, no matter what age they are. And you know, I was a no prouder man when I'm not sure. I think it was maybe it was Leeds at home, and we on our on our 17 starting sheets, we had 13, which was homegrown talent. And you know, I felt a proud proud person that night to do that. And, I'm not saying that's me I'm going forward, but you know, if, I always believe if them kids are, are good enough, then they're going to be in the team, and you know, it's, it's always good to get the, the young ones in. Kieran, apart from uh, Smithy and Warrington, most of the top coaches now are British. Is that the side for the future? Are the Australians now in the background, or are we looking forward to English coaches taking charge of all our top clubs? I think probably what you're going to see is, and um, what you're seeing now is, is these people who's like the your people who was involved in Super League from the start who've been coached really well. You you're seeing that production line of them them past players now who they know a lot about rugby and you know, back in the day the, the old British mentality was a lot different to what it is now and believe it or not, we have got some smart English coaches who, who do understand the game and you know, I'm I'm proud to be English and I'm proud to be in charge of this club and I think it's good, it speaks 
it speaks massive credit to, to our competition to have to have so many English coaches in. Kieran, seeing as you're stepping up a notch, will there be someone else coming in from from below into the coaching team? Well, we've, we've got a great great coaching team in place already, and obviously I've, I'm not there anymore, so Jamal will be on board, and you know because we've rushed the decision out now, it's. The other, the other spots will be finalised. We've got a little bit of reshuffling to do, but we'll probably promote from within. Tim, um, Jamal Carragher has been linked to Arsenal to the Champions. Do you think they've got a better base to work with? I just, I don't think there's any better base. I mean, all these kids that have played and been part of the success of this year know how to win trophies. And I, I mean, I don't know you guys seen it. I said when we'd made the grand final and, f and finishing first was irregardless of whether we won the trophy or not. I thought that was a massive building blocks for us as a club to go for to go forward. Now to actually win the trophy and and all these young kids who was involved in it to know how to win trophies on big occasions for me is just.